All right, I, I want to make a, a quick um, fall video for the center high mount stoplight um, cargo camera harness that I make. Um, so this one, this is a harness for an HD truck, so 2500, 3500. Um, I make this to go through all the, the factory connectors. So uh, I just wanted to show how you need to unlock the factory connectors and, and pin the wiring. So this is the actual connector for the camera, obviously. So you can have to access under the headliner uh, when you pull the, the, the camera, um, excuse me, the light out, you can plug this in and basically you're gonna run this wiring over to the driver's side C pillar. And when you get there, you're gonna have this first bit of wiring. And in the C-pillar, there's a connector similar to this. So this is not the actual connector, but I'm gonna use it for demonstration purposes. It'll be um, attached. And <clears throat> basically these two wires, you're gonna to have to pin through the top side of this connector. So obviously, you know, the first thing you wanna do is separate these two connectors. So simple enough, you know, you just push down the tab and open it up. Now, a lot of people think, okay, it's open, I can just jam these in there, and that's not the case. There's this little locking tab here, and in order to be able to pin these, we have to unlock, pull this up, and it basically unlocks, it allows you to pin wiring into it. So basically, I use like a little pick or something. If you look at this, you can see this little section right here is a little bit different. And if I, let me turn it this way. I get underneath it from, from this side. You get underneath it and then you kind of just pull up and you see that whole piece just pulled up. Um, that's unlocked now. You could, you know, continue and, and actually pry this whole piece up, but you don't, I mean, you don't have to, but you could if you wanted to. You can see here the whole thing comes right out. Uh, but as long as it's lifted up a little bit like this, it's unlocked. And then <clears throat> these, all these positions are numbered. And again, this is not the correct one, so I'm not going to really pin to it. But, you know, it looks like they're numbered. There's little numbers and very, very hard to see. On this particular one, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Then you have 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. These will all be labeled which position to pin them into. So basically, you know, and, and for these two wires, I should mention, they're going to meet up with the existing wiring. So in the bottom half, when you find the spots to pin, I would double check and make sure the bottom half their wires are there because these are going to meet up with the existing wiring coming out of the bottom half of the connector. Um, but once you have it, and I'll, I'll just pin one, basically they only go in one way. So if you push it in and it's not doing anything, you can't get it in, it's probably going in incorrectly. Um, so you wanna just spin it and then you can push it back in and that you hear it click, that clicks in, you're good right there. And then basically when you're done with those two wires, you wanna close that up and then you're gonna just reconnect this. So that's the two wires in the driver's side C-pillar. Then you're gonna run this whole harness. You can either run it up through the headliner or, or down underneath the carpet. Uh, I make them to run under the carpet. They're still long enough to run through the headliner if you want to. You may actually have some extra wiring if you run it that direction. But you're gonna have these three wires here, and these are gonna pin to a green connector at the end of the dash on the driver's side. You literally pull the, the panel off the very end of the dash and you should see this connector here. And this is the actual connector. So it's exactly the same process. You know, you can pop this out. Same thing here. If you look at this one, you can see this little spot here. It's a little bit different. You get underneath this and just kind of pry this up that comes up and you're now unlocked. So again, it's gonna be labeled and each one of these little spots has, has a number on it. The wire harness is gonna be labeled. You just find your, your particular spot. So if I'm reading this correctly, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
then you have 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. So I believe my harness is 12, 13, and 14. So you have 9, 10, 11, so 12 is right here. So if I find my 12, which is the gray one, and we drop that in, it clicks right in. Next one is 13, which is white. Drops right in, and then 14. Drops right in, so that's the three wires there. Close that up. Now, depending on if you have the run of wiring, um, these three runs are already populated in the bottom half of this connector. Um, you're basically done with the exception of there's, there's this one ground wire and this ground is gonna go to, there's a ground location on the floor to the left of your foot when you're sitting in the, in the driver's seat. There's a little kick panel on the left side. Uh, it's right behind there. And you'd be done if you have that wiring here. If you don't have this wiring here, I include an additional harness for that. And the, the way to do this one is, so this is gonna be push pinned um, on, you may want to get a little pry tool and pop this out, but basically it has the locking tab down in here and there's little tabs on the sides here, these white little tabs. And what you want to do is get underneath them and you kind of pry them away and then push forward on them and it should slide that whole piece. So it just, mind you, it just moved a little bit. And you can see it's kind of coming up. And if I do it again, you can see that tab. I push that whole tab. And if you look in here, this thing is, is pretty, pretty free. Again, this is unlocked. You can pin to it now as is. I mean, if you want to, you can pull this whole thing out. So this whole thing pops right out. Um, either one doesn't really matter. You don't have to take the whole thing out. But it's going to be the same process. You're gonna pin those three wires, and when you're done, you need to push this tab back down. You know, you can reconnect this one. And then these three wires, actually, I don't have uh, an example, but this pin, this pin to the main radio uh, connector. And on that one, it's gonna be similar um, to almost kind of like this. There's gonna be a, a, a red locking tab on the front face of it that covers the whole front face same exact process you need to kind of get around the edges of that and and pry it up be very careful because it's, it's a thin piece you don't want to break it but that red locking tab you pry that up and then you can lock into the radio connector and again those those um wires will be labeled and if you look very close on the connector you should be able to see some numbers um, and determine where everything needs to be pinned